Hey folks, thanks for tuning back into the Colonial Airstream channel. Joe Welch is here with another service tech tip video. Halloween is right around the corner, so let's talk about something a little scary. Towing a travel trailer. And pulling a travel trailer for the first time may feel like a nightmare, but in reality, towing a trailer behind you is going to be a really easy thing. So let's go over a couple tow safety tips and get you on the road and towing right away. Ready? Let's go. Towing your travel trailer is just half the battle. Your travel is going to follow wherever you go. But backing up a trailer is not so easy. Before getting behind the wheel, let's go over some of the simple requirements to tow, a pre-travel checklist. At this point, let's assume that you already have a quality tow vehicle equipped with a tow package and a brake controller system. One of the most important things before hitting the road is making sure that your tow vehicle and your trailer are hooked up properly. So the first thing we're doing here is we're making sure that our our ball and our hitch has been aligned properly and that they're locked in place. And the last thing that we ever want to see is our trailer passing us while we're on the roadway. Make sure to always hook up your safety chains and cross them underneath, making an X. The chain on this side is going to come on your hook on the other side of the hitch. And if they're going to hang so low, give them a couple twists and pull them up off the ground. You wouldn't want them to scrape and spark. Having an anti-sway system is always a plush, but make sure to properly set that up before you take off. And while you're back here, always make sure that your safety breakaway switch is hooked up as well. Take a walk around your travel trailer and make sure that all your brake lights are working. Have your buddy hit the brakes while you inspect them from the back. One of the most important things that is very easily overlooked is to make sure when you're loading your trailer that you distribute the weight properly. Meaning, you don't want to keep any heavy items on the rear of the trailer. You want to keep everything you're loading in relation to weight that's heavy in the front of the trailer to avoid unwanted sway. In relation to weight, when you're traveling, the lighter the better, if possible. One of the things you can do to easily reduce some weight is empty all your tanks, gray, black, and fresh. Now let's talk about driving and towing. We suggest you practice in a big open parking lot before you hit the road. Although towing seems intimidating, I can assure you it is a breeze. So let's go over a couple driving tips before hitting the road. Always try to allow for more distance when stopping. <clears throat> this means that you need to take into consideration that you have a lot of extra weight pushing into you when you're coming to a stop. So when you're stopping with a trailer, you need to increase the distance between you and anything you're going to stop before because it's going to take longer to decrease your vehicle's speed. With the vehicle that you're using, you want to have a correctly set and adjusted brake controller and if possible, a tow haul mode to be driving in. Remember to account for extra distance when you're passing and merging. Sudden quick lane shifts can cause a bit of unwanted sway. Instead, take your time and give yourself enough space in front and behind you when you're shifting and merging to be more comfortable. When driving downhill, you want to keep your speed to a moderate pace, only applying your brake in small intervals. Brakes should only be really applied here to supplement the braking effect being done by the engine. This should be done if you're shifting into a lower gear or a lot of trucks today have something called descent control, an icon on your dash that will lock the speed so the trailer won't push into you so much that you're overtaking down steep hills. When driving in windy or rainy conditions, you want to maintain a slower speed to maintain control. If these conditions are too extreme, you would like to pull over and wait a bit before you continue. A lot of vehicles will have in-depth drive modes in, that will pertain to rain and mud and different conditions, but when towing with a trailer, it's better to leave it in tow mode or get off the road when it's become too extreme. When backing up, remember that the slightest bit of movement on the wheel goes a long way. So here's a tip. Put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel, and if you want to turn the trailer to the left, go to the left. If you want to turn the trailer to the right, go to the right. If you prefer keeping your hands on the top of the steering wheel, then just remember it's always going to be inverted. If you're turning to the left, your trailer is going to go to the right. And if you're turning to the right, your trailer is going to go to the left. When turning left and right, you need to be aware of your tail swing. Anybody your trailer past your axle, that's likely to swing out while you're taking turns. You, if you're not careful, you could clip other cars in parking lots or any objects on the sides of the roads. So make sure to give yourself room when you're turning and be aware of your tail swing. Are you ready to get out of the parking lot and out onto the open road? Well, take your time and go slow. And in no time, you're gonna be hauling like a pro. 
90% of the people I talk to here at Colonial have never towed before and are first time RVers. It's fantastic to see them come back with the confidence and the stories and the happiness from their first adventures. So before we end this video, we would really appreciate it if everyone could hit that like button and subscribe if they haven't already. And if you found this video helpful or you have any questions, please leave us a comment below or reach out to us at colonialairstream.com. Our phone number is 800-265-9019. My name is Joe Welches, and I'll see you all in the next Colonial Service Tip video.